We start off with Defence Minister Dominic Nitual, who is challenging former President Mahama to provide evidence of his claims that the military is being used to intimidate prospective voters in NDC strongholds. Addressing a media briefing in Parliament House to respond to a social media statement by the former president, Mr. Nitual insisted the figures on registration so far don't support the claims. In Banda, in the Bono region last week, the NDC accused the military of preventing people perceived to be their supporters from registering. A video in which some military men and uh, NDC General Secretary Johnson Asidu Nketiah are seen in the area have surfaced. Here are excerpts of that video. Well, uh, Mr. Nitual accused the NDC General Secretary Johnson Asedu Nketia of breaching the Banda Regional Security Council Directive, prohibiting political parties from busing people to registration centers, which the military is enforcing. If the MPP try to bring people, bus people, the NDC will try to stop them. And we don't want that to happen. So the security will stop you before you bring trouble. If the NDC tries to bring people, the MPP will want to stop them. And so that is it. And that agreement is general knowledge. It's everywhere for anybody who wants to see, to see, and have copies here, that the agreement has been signed by all of them. And unfortunately, John Cena said, in Ketia, refused to respect that that agreement. He knew that they had signed to it. He knew that his candidate had signed to that such an agreement that they shouldn't bust anybody. And for me to watch that video and see him with vast loads of people following him to a polling station is really unfortunate. And I think that he should not repeat that any longer. Right, we are joined uh, on the line by the NDC General Secretary Johnson Asiedu Nketiah for some reaction to the minister's claim. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Mr. Asiedu Nketiah. Tell us about that video that has gone viral in which you were accusing the military personnel in Banda of preventing people from registering. What we saw were people in a bus. Was the NDC responsible for busing them? You saw people in a bus in the video. Yes, then you must be describing a different video, not the one that I was involved in. Okay, it was a pickup. Let's call it a pickup. <laughs> it's not a pickup. People were in Kia trucks and some were in pickup. Very well. Yes, that is true. But you see, you need to. I'm surprised that a member of parliament is speaking the way that minister is speaking. What is his understanding of Boston according to the electoral laws? The electoral laws define Basin as an attempt by maybe a politician or somebody who has hired a bus to convey people from outside the constituency into a particular constituency where they don't reside for the purpose of registration. So I'm surprised that he's describing what is happening in Bana as Basin people. Has he indicated where the people reside and where they were being brought from to come and register? Okay, Mr. These are, ordinary, these are ordinary residents of Banda constituency who are being prevented from registering because they happen to live in the villages and along the river bank, the, 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 the banks of the lake. So, MPP, with the support of the military have been mounting roadblocks 
to prevent people from coming to register from the banks of the lake because they were seen to be vegetarians and uh, are believed to be adherents of NDC. That is the story that is simple and short. And it is because of this, uh, uh, you know, attempts to block some of them. That led into a student being stabbed to death. The, 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 the security services are not doing anything to apprehend the, the culprits of that murder. So I went to Banda yesterday following on reports that the military are actively blocking the road to prevent people from the, the, the shores of the lake to come and register. And in fact, when some uh, succeed in coming to registration centers, they are fiscally pulled from the queue alleging that they are Togolese. That was the report that sent me there. And I went there, immediately I arrived, I spoke to the military command there. And they, they, they disputed all those claims. I spoke to the police command there, they disputed all those claims. But eventually, in going around the constituency, right. we met a scene where people who were a, 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 a Kia truck going to the nearest registration center to, to vote had been blocked. So we went there and we called the military people to come and witness what they were denying and also called the, the police to come and witness what they were denying. We called the media. UTV was there, TV3 was there to capture. You can call them to, 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 to answer to this question. All right. So that if the minister does not have anything to say, he will help this country by stopping those lies. Okay, Mr. Sedin Ketia, the minister says you breached the Banda Regional Security Council Directive, which prohibits political parties from busing people to registration centers, which the military is enforcing. Uh, uh, according to the explanation I have given, which part of the Security Council uh, uh, this thing has I breached? Indeed, if the minister cares to know, it is not the Banda District Security Council meeting. It was a regional Security Council meeting right. which culminated in the signing of an agreement by all parties, including the commanding officer of the of the third battalion and the regional police command and the uh, 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 what do you call it the regional minister and the candidates for both parties, and they signed to the effect that the laws of the registration must be allowed to apply. It included the prohibition of passing of people. And when we talk about passing, it means carrying people from outside the constituency into the constituency for the sole purpose of registering. Right. The constituency where they don't reside. Mm -hmm. So if he is defining passing to mean ordinary people moving from their, their, their villages to registration centers, then he, he is not qualified to be an MP at all. Okay. All and right. So after the registration, after the signing of the MOU, it was the Banda uh, MPP candidate who posted on his face wall that that document is fake, and that he was not going to abide by it. He's going to use the police and the security services to do what they have been doing. And I'm surprised that I, I'm not surprised that the minister is supporting that type of uh, ethnic bigotry. All right, Mr. Asedin Ketia, you've been in the Bono uh, region uh, for a while now, assessing the conduct of the exercise. Uh, what can you say about the conduct of the exercise so far? Well, wherever I have gone, I have encountered this type of problem in Ukraine North and also in Banda. Apart from that, the, the process appears to be relatively peaceful. But I am worried about this one because Ethnic profiling is a dangerous thing. It is an international crime. If military were deployed along the Ghana-Togo border, the this same minister came to say that they were there because of uh, COVID-19. I went there and saw that they were brutalizing people even at registration centers. They still held on to that official line. Now we are in Banda, which is nowhere near the Ghana-Togo border. And people are still brutalizing the uh, ethnic efforts, claiming that they are from Togo. What type of uh, 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 racial bigotry is that? All right. Let me tell them, in Accra, he is living in Accra. 
Many other tribes are living in Accra on Ghana. Some known guys contest elections to parliament. When you are talking about people living uh, Banda to the Bandas, there's a Banda man who is a sitting member of parliament in a Ashanti region, Okinso to be specific. What type of uh, ethnic bigotry is that? Many thanks yes, for your time. We'll have country. to leave it here. Uh, that's uh, NDC General Secretary uh, Johnson Asedu Nketiah there uh, on that developing story in Banda. Now